Today in our 2011 Honda Pilot, we'll be installing the Tacancha Prodigy P3 Trailer Brake Controller, part number 90195. To ease our installation, we'll be using the wiring adapter for electric brake controllers for Honda vehicles, part number 3070-P. The Prodigy P3 is a truly proportional brake controller that will allow you to control from one to four axles on your trailer. So if you have a large trailer with four axles with brakes on them, not a problem. The P3 can handle it without any issue. Now if we press this button here, the little book button on the bottom right, that gets us to our setup menu. You can change your brake type, electric, hydraulic, over electric, but we'll just leave it on electric because that's what most trailer brakes are. You go back, you have help, you have a display, you can adjust your brightness, your color, your contrast. So you can change it to whatever color you want. You can go pink, magenta, orange, light green, any different color that you want. With the boost turned off, you can see we have a single axle small trailer picture behind the truck. When put on boost level one, you can see we have a larger double axle trailer behind the truck. When we put it on boost level two, we have a larger fifth wheel style double axle trailer behind the truck. And on boost level three, we have a very large triple axle trailer behind the truck. What the boost level settings do is it allows you to increase stopping power to your trailer just at the single press of a button. Now, if you want to adjust the gain, that's what these up and down buttons are for on the left side of the brake controller. If you go up, you can set max power to 14. If you go down, you can go all the way down to zero. We're gonna adjust our brakes to about seven. Since that's about halfway, that's good for most trailer applications. All right, here's what our brake controller comes with. We have our brake controller itself. Nice, easy to use, easy to read LED screen here. All of our buttons are easily accessible on the front of it, and our slider is easily accessible on the bottom for our manual brake override. We have a couple different mounting bracket styles here. When we're not using our controller, we can place it in this included bag and stick it up out of the way in our glove box if we so choose. We have our wiring adapter here, a couple screws to install stuff, more screws and butt connectors if we need them. Now that we've gone over what's included, we'll show you how to install it. Right over here to the left of our dash, right above our parking brake, we can find our factory connector for our brake controller. So we're gonna take this tape off here, we'll get access to it nice and easy. Take our harness that plugs into there. Plug it in and make our connection. Now we can find out where we're gonna mount our brake controller. All right, we'll plug our harness into our brake controller here temporarily, just so we can get an idea of how much length we have of our cable where we can mount it. Right here will be a great spot. So we'll take our bracket, slide it over our brake controller, center it up where we need to, Right there, looks good. Take our brake controller down and we'll install our bracket using the included self-tapping screws. Take our brake controller, get it in the position we want it, and we'll install the screws on the side of it. And tighten them down with our screwdriver. Now if our brake controller is securely mounted, Snug up our screws as much as we need to. Now it's easy to reach, easy to read, and out of the way when we're driving. Now we need to tuck our wires up underneath the dash. We're using a couple zip ties.
Now we'll cut off our excess zip ties. Now this will simulate trailer brakes being operational when we use our brake controller since we don't have a trailer here to hook up to today. So when I activate our manual brake override here, you can see that our trailer is getting brake voltage right here and has amperage going to it. So that means our brakes will be applied properly. And that completes our installation of the Takancha Prodigy P3 trailer brake controller, part number 90195 on our 2011 Honda Pilot. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.